Welcome back, friends. We are doing a bit more farming today. We have our first time mowing grass here. Now, I will say we haven't, well, really not first time mowing grass, but first time mowing grass since we planted our new fields. We aren't going to be mowing the new fields, unfortunately, because if we pull up our map, those are still not ready to harvest. But I don't want to go too long with these not being ready yet. And I did check through. Those still aren't ready like next month even. For some reason, at least not maybe till the end of next month. So we're, we're going to get these modes field, these fields mowed up first, if I can talk. Um, I could wait because we can go and let them get to the next growth height too. Because, I mean, you can see right here, we do have one more growth stage we can go to. But in order to make sure I'm getting the absolute most that I can... We're going to need to cut now, I think, because I think I can get two cuts out of these and I might only be able to get one cut out of the others. So I am going to reset our bale counts here. And I am... This is all going to go to silage. I am going to do it just as the square bales first. Uh, this first bale... Some of the first bales might come out as hay just because of where we're at. But, you know, it, it's not that big a deal. We need the silage for our biogas plants, though. So while I was originally planning on doing everything as being hay, everything was going to be hay for the horses, but we're going to worry more about the silage so that we can get the biogas plants running again. I will say I am making a good amount of money even with the biogas plants not running just through some of the other stuff we're selling. Um, I do need to fix some of the other productions and things that there's just no more space in. We can turn that one off. Um, I, I mean, we're making... I haven't sold anything in November. We're making over half a million in two days here with just out of what we're doing automated. So that's not too bad. Some of that is probably the wood productions that might be out of wood by this point. I'm not going to scroll through to find them right now. But that's okay. Uh, that's the forge wagon over here that I need to maybe just sell off. I never bothered taking it down because it wasn't working the way I wanted it to, since the workers won't actually run that forge wagon for whatever reason. All right, let's lower that pickup. We can lower everything down for our mower. And I'm not even going to bother trying to get the outskirts of this field done with this thing. We're just going to go ahead and send workers on all of this stuff. There we go. Okay, that did switch to grass, and it did not cost me anything. That's cool. I did fill up all of... We can go this way. Um, I filled up all of our mowers with silage additive, and I did repair everything 100% just so that we would be good. I didn't want to risk screwing anything up. And I think I have the field, yeah, I've got the field down beneath us too to mow. Since that one was done one month earlier before the rest. Now, I am going to have to fly through and go ahead and wrap all the bales afterwards, but that's okay. I, I could stick that quick baler I have on one of them so I don't have to wrap them, but I've got to pick them up anyway, so I'm not too terribly worried about having to wrap them. Oh, uh, come on. Lower motor. Pickup is down. Unfold our baler. All right, there we go. We've got two workers mowing. Let's get our third worker mowing here. And then I might be able to start grabbing some bales. We'll see. It might not quite be long enough yet because these do... These multi-capacity bales do hold a lot of grass just for one bale. Unfold our baler. Baler. 
and you are gonna have to go all the way down and I'm gonna be best taking a left. You know, maybe I should just put another ramp up right now. Do I have a ramp up down here? I do. I don't need to worry about another one. I couldn't remember if this ramp was here or was further over towards the right. So we'll go ahead and head this way. Lower the pickup on our baler, unfold our mower. I might do a sweep or two down this because that's a lot of grass we're going to be just kind of missing. Because that's almost two full passes along this edge. Either way, though, we're going to be picking quite a bit up. And I still need to get a lot more forestry done on this map before we can do some more. I know that I could just go ahead and cut off or, or hit the, the one thing to cut all of the trees down so that I don't have to cut them down myself, but, you know, that, that lumber is all money, too. I don't want to waste the, the millions of dollars in that the lumber that's covering this map just to uh, farm a little bit faster. I suppose maybe I should because, in a way, I might be able to make more money with the... Um, with the corn that I will off the lumber, but it's not like we're really going to be hurting for that. So let's get our wrapper unfolded. And we need to turn on our trailer here. I'm sure I'll be filling this trailer up. I've got the semi over there, so once it gets filled up, we might just drop the whole thing, come back and pick them all up with the semi later, because that trailer will hold a good bit more than this one will. So, we'll see. I gotta see if we're ready yet for a bale to have dropped, especially with that one being at like 50%. I think I should have dropped one by now. I'm not really seeing any yet, though. Woo! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Going at unrealistic speeds is, um, yeah, a little detrimental sometimes, isn't it? Come on. Why can I run faster than this thing is moving? It's moving at 15 miles an hour. Why am I running faster than 15 miles an hour? Uh, I have not dropped a bale yet. Okay. Oh, that's why, because it's still just sliding out. So we'll have a few minutes then before any bales actually drop. What? No, one definitely did not drop out of there yet. Okay, that is fine. So, let's take a look at productions really fast here. Uh, those are probably all okay. Let's, I'm just going to hop down here because it'll be easier. Okay, you're still running. And that means the other one should still be running too. Yeah, those are both running. Those take so long to produce anything that it's not a problem. Alright, so I guess we'll kind of do some logging now and i know i said it's a farming episode but uh, oh well i'm not going to be doing anything super super big or intensive i just want to start whacking down a few more trees here and dragging them in so that we can maybe get this whole side cleared out You know what? We're going to... I know I've got those two little stumps I'm going to take care of. Three. But we're going to have a lot of stumps to take care of on this side no matter what. We're going to come down to the edge here. And start knocking them down over here so that they can get drug in. Because all of our mowers have to keep running anyways. And did that... What the heck is going on over there? Oh, that's that. You are stuck because of that. Okay, you should not be. Let's just swing you past. I really wish that did not just kick out those bales. Alright, I will have to clean up those bales that are over there. 
but that's okay. Let's hop back into our skid steer. And start knocking down some trees. Or, you know, completely miss the tree with the saw. Alright, there we go. Now we shouldn't miss. But I will run over the stump because I'm not going to judge how big the treads are correctly. Alright, so this way I can knock down at least a handful of trees. So that we can start working on clearing out this area for our next field up and through this whole side. I don't know if I'm going to have all this cleared out before I actually plant corn. Um, I would kind of like to, but that's going to require a lot of logging. Not that I don't have the game time to do it. Because through the rest of the months here that I can, I could just work on logging. But... I don't know that I want to do that much logging, that many logging videos, that much time dedicated to the game at the moment. The whole point was to try and get stuff done as quickly as possible. And I kind of think that once we get done with the next, next corn harvest, we will be able to hit maxed out money. There we go. I didn't realize it actually pops up a little tooltip there saying that it's cutting. Come on. Why don't you want to cut that tree? You know, I should actually fell in the other direction so that they won't get stuck on the stumps. Maybe we'll start doing that from now on. I'll drop them towards our sawmill. because that really would make more sense. All right. We can just do this real fast to get this one down since it doesn't want to cooperate with our DFM cutter. And now, I will start doing everything the way I should have to begin with. And I will cut them from this side and drive down to the water. Not the goal. Come on, you can do it. Okay, it was cutting. There we go. Yeah, this makes much more sense. Let's see how far our mowers have gotten. A couple passes already everywhere. Come on. Really? Another tree you just don't want to cut? Alright. That tree lives for now. Come on, there we go. See, this, I think, is at least faster than going through and cutting them all by hand. I think this cuts a little bit faster than the chainsaw does. And, well, I would say it moves faster, but you know what? It doesn't move faster because we figured out that we can run faster than 15 miles an hour, and this only moves at five, 9 miles an hour. Maybe I'm wasting time doing this. Maybe I should be going through and uh, just cutting them all by hand instead. 
I don't really feel like taking the time to test that and see which is actually faster. I guess what it kind of comes down to is, to me at least, this is a little bit less boring than running around and cutting them all down by hand because of the way the chainsaw is cut in here. I think we are going to go ahead and check over here now if we can start grabbing a few bales. Yeah, we definitely can. They have. Alright, that was weird. Uh, automatic drop. It's on. We should be good here. Let's see, let's see. Come on. There we go. We are wrapping. And we are loading up bales. Cool. Uh, it doesn't look like we really have all that many to actually do yet, but it's okay. We'll at least grab a couple. And then I guess I can go and work on our lumber area a little bit again. Get on my way. I should really just go ahead and sell that forage wagon. I don't know why I haven't yet. I don't think I should have any more down this way. Let's go check our other field real quick. Uh, I'll probably just get the two fields up here first. And then the field at the bottom, I'll grab, or across the river, I should say, maybe. I'll grab that field after everything's finished. I suppose I could just wait until all of the, the fields are mowed to and drive around with our bale pickup here. We might do that. That might make a little bit more sense, especially since I don't want this video to be too terribly long. Alright, well I've got three right here. Alright, I am going to go cut down some trees and do some of that stuff while all of this goes through. And I will be back with you guys once I can actually go pick up all my bales. If cutting down all the trees is something you would have rather seen, let me know down in the comments. Alright, so we've gotten mostly everything mowed and I wound up having a mower run out of gas while I don't know what it was doing driving over to the edge there. So, I will end up having to go back and fix that. But for the time being, let me run around and grab some bales here. Because I got a lot of bales to pick up. I did get quite a bit of the woods cleared out over where I was working. And I got a lot of lumber thrown into our log mill. So that's a good thing. But let's grab some bales. Now I remember why I was kind of going to making sure that I was doing self-wrapping bale trailers and whatnot. Um, balers, I should say, I guess. Because this does take a little bit longer than I always expect it to. Because these things wrap so slowly. Even with the capacity of these bales, it still just always seems like it's wrapping real slow. So, I mean, look, we still got another, what, almost 10 bales sitting there to grab?
and then all these bales will still have to ferment before they can actually go into the biogas plant. But that's alright. I think with just doing it once at least, we'll get a decent amount of silage here to fill up the biogas, and then maybe we'll go back to just doing hay, as I probably should since I'm going to get rid of all my glass fields while I have cows. Which is a little bit frightening of a proposition. We'll do cows and we won't have any way of producing more hay. But I think I've got so many hay bales stacked up over there that it's not going to be that big of a problem. Speaking of problems, I actually wound up having a problem with my truck the other day. I've got an appointment for it to go in uh, on Monday. I think I might have wound up getting a vacuum leak or something. It was just really acting up on me. When I was supposed to go do something, I had to cancel plans just because I'm sitting there going, I don't know if my truck will make it. Or if I'll end up doing more damage to my truck by going. So apparently, you know, I run out of gas in, in farm sim and break my truck in real life, and that's just the way things go sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. See, I don't know what the mower was doing over on that side. Like, it almost looks like it was going to restart on this field after finishing that field, and I don't know why it would have. Alright, I think that is our full load right here it is. So, let's go ahead and unload right there. Because then I can just come back through with the uh, semi-truck and pick up that whole load onto our semi-trailer, which will hold quite a few more bales than this trailer does. Alright, so... I have a lot of bales to clean up. And I think this video's already gone on long enough, hadn't it? Um, I will get all these bales picked up probably before our next episode. But let me know what you think about me skipping around a few things. I really don't get a ton of feedback on that, I'm not really expecting to, but... I always go back and forth a little bit. Sometimes I like to show everything, sometimes I try and skip around at least a little bit because, I mean, you know what I'm going to be doing for the next, you know, 15-20 minutes in this game is just driving around picking up bales. And we'll see, I might actually just leave all of the bales sitting in the field because especially since they're going to be in nice neat stacks anyways from using, wow, I screwed that up, from using this uh, small auto-loading trailer. We really don't need to uh, haul them all off yet. They still have to ferment and turn into silage that we can use. And that won't be probably until like the next month in here. Which really means I'll probably let it go about two months. Ah! That is not what I wanted. We need to try and grab that one bale so we can wrap it. Okay, come on now. Need to just grab one little bale here. Boom, got it. And now I need to come back through and get the rest picked up onto the trailer. Alright, that almost works. There we go. Um, I still need to grab that one that went flying off, but that's okay. Alright. So, yeah, we'll, we'll probably just leave these in the field where they ferment. And even though I should take them and unload them right away, I think I'll skip ahead until the rest of our grass fields are going to be ready to mow. Simply because that way I'm not kind of spending as much time doing other things. Uh, I could keep logging and stuff like that too. And if you want to see another logging episode, let me know. You probably didn't watch this long if you only want to watch logging episodes. It kind of goes back and forth, whether those seem to do better or the farming ones do better. So, anyways, that's probably enough rambling for now. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you've watched this whole episode, you should probably be subscribed if you're not already, because that means you were probably enjoying... Ah, nuts. Okay, let's fix that one again. Um, yeah, so you were uh, probably enjoying my ridiculousness here. If, um, if you're not subscribed already, you should probably go ahead and subscribe. There we go. Because that means you will probably enjoy seeing more of my somewhat ridiculous antics that I keep causing problems of for myself. So until next time, thank you for watching. Happy gaming, and I'll see you soon.